summer is my least favorite season of the year and that is reflected in my wardrobe i just don't like feeling hot and sticky for long periods of times and so having moved to a much warmer state where summer started like March, April, I had to readjust my summer wardrobe and add a few pieces. And so for today's video, I want to try on and review some of those pieces with you. I did not want to make this video extra long, so I made you a part two. So stay tuned for that one and subscribe if you haven't. Let's get started. I have this pair of linen trousers that I wore a lot, especially during the warmer months. And because of it, I decided to get me a second pair from a different brand and in a different color. These are the Linen Way Hydrate Pants from Everlane. They come in a couple more colors, but I went for the Towny Brown, which is not so much of a brown, but more like a burnt yellow. They have two functioning pockets at the front and two non-functioning at the back. I find that Everlane size is wrong a little big. I went for a size zero, which is my normal size with a brand for bottoms, but I'm usually a size two with other brands. If you want a tighter fit than what you're seeing on the model or even on me, you can size down, but I wanted a flowy, looser, relaxed fit, especially for the warm months, and so I stuck with my normal size with the brand. It has a zipper fly, a button, and a double closure hook. I'm not sure that's the proper name for it, but that's what I'm calling it. I like that these ones, unlike my other ones that I wear all the time, they have a thicker band, so they stay higher on the torso and more put, even though I do have a small gap, but they don't fall because of the thick band. They also have bell loops, which is always helpful. It is made in linen, so it's nice and thin and breathable. I don't find these to be sheer or see-through. I am wearing a black underwear, and I don't think you can see anything, but I have read reviews that the other colors are sheer. I am folding them at the bottom because they're a little extra long on me, which is to be expected. I am in the petite side. I'm not sure if I'm gonna hem them yet. The last time I went to a tailor, they said to wash your linen clothing pieces before you alter them because they do tend to shrink. So I'm gonna wait until I wash these and then I'll decide if I'm gonna hem them or not. If you've been here before, you know I'm not a collar type of person. I like wearing my neutrals and my blacks. But this one is a color I'm experimenting with and I plan to use it as my accent color for this season. And though it's not a neutral per se, it does go well with the rest of my wardrobe. And most importantly, it's also a color that complements my skin complexion. And it is such a beautiful color that I can easily transition into the fall, which makes this piece even more versatile. Overall, no complaints from me here. I love the fit, I love the material, I love the quality, which is to be expected with Everlane. So I have returned some pieces with them. It's never been about a quality of the piece, but more so of the fit. Though I cannot recommend the other colors, I do recommend this one if it's something that you're looking for and that you see yourself wearing long term. I also link my other ones that I owned. I do love those as well. They are in a tan and beige color, but they're not as sheer as the one from Everline in case you're interested. This is a bright color for me, so to keep it nice and light, I decided to style it with two different white tops. I do like my white tops all year round, but especially for the summer months, I think it gives a more light and fresh look and it complements this color very well. For my shoes, I decided to go for my Bella sneakers. I do like the contrast between a tailored piece and a more casual one. These are the linen suit shorts from Mango. I got them in a size two. Though at first I got in a size one because Mango also tend to run in the large size. The first one were just too tight on the bump area. These ones are a little big on the waist and so I might have to take this in, but I prefer them to be looser than just to be too tight. I really like how comfortable they are. I find them to be in a perfect length for my liking. They're not too short, they're not too long. Though I'm not a big fan of large pattern, I find this one to be a subtle one, one because of the classic colors but also the darkest stripes are vertical which complements my body type and my height the best it is super high waisted which is also something i look for especially having a longer torso this feel as most linen material feel on the skin not too scratchy not the softer ones but overall very comfortable especially because they are in the looser fit they have a zipper fly and two functional pockets to keep it nice and casual, I'm styling it with a white top again, surprise, surprise, and my Emma Mules from Micello. And for a less flirty and more conservative look, I decided to go for this button up, which is always a versatile and classic look. 
another pop of color piece for me this one is the same exact color as the pants and no i do not plan on selling them together though i think that can be a look <laughs> but it just happened to be that way this is the gen top from doen it is my first purchase with them i've never purchased from them before and i wanted to test out the brand this top does come with a short sleeve version which is actually more affordable but i wanted to go for this one because again i wanted to be able to transition this to the next season so during the warmer months i can pull this sleeve up but during the colder months i can just let it down and it creates more versatility in my wardrobe which is always a plus again i love the color it is one that complements my skin complexion which is always good and i like how thin it is and though it's very thin which is good for the warmer months because it feels super light and fresh on the skin but i don't find it to be see-through i love the versatility of this piece you can wear it as a button up on top you can tuck it in one side or tuck it in all the way you can tie it up up front with a net you can leave a couple buttons undone or button it all the way the options are endless they do come in a couple different colors, but I went for this one for, again, a pop of color on my wardrobe. I went for a size small, though I could have sized down to a size extra small, but because of the style of the shirt, I don't mind the looser fit. To keep it nice and simple, for the first outfit, I decided to go for a pair of tan shorts. These are from Levi. They are very old, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to link it, but as always, I'll link everything I can down below or similar items if these are no longer available. For the second outfit, I decided to spice it up a bit and style them with the suit shorts from Mango. At first, I wasn't sure about pairing these two together because individually, to me, they act as an statement piece but because of the classic color of the shorts and i kept everything else including the accessories nice and simple instead of competing they are complementing each other for full transparency i am not wearing full-on jeans <laughs> these days it has been very hot to say the least we have been in the three digits for the past couple of weeks but i do want to try it on this top with a pair of denims more for like inspiration for the fall whenever that comes <laughs> This is the oversized linen shirt from Mango and as you can see it's very oversized which I debated whether to keep it or not or to give it to my husband which is always asking me when I get oversized pieces if I got it for him. <laughs> I guess we can share but after styling it with a couple of pieces I decided to keep it and though it is very oversized because it's made in linen and it's a thin material it's easy to tuck in without much bulk. I like the color of it. I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe. It's like this beige base with very thin caramel stripes. I have been on the hunt for a pair of shorts for at least a couple of months. I've tried a couple in store and it just never felt like they were the right fit for me until I found this one. They are called the high loose shorts so they're very high waisted and they are loose on the thigh area. They are exactly what I was looking for. They do vary depending on the color that you choose. The first pair that I tried did flare out a little bit at the bottom, but then I tried these ones, which are supposed to be the same style, but they are in a darker color. They don't flare out as much on the leg area, and I find them to be at least an inch longer. Because I went into the store, I tried different sizes. I decided to keep the size 25, which is still loose on me. I'm usually 24 with Levi's but I did want a looser fit and so I'm keeping these ones. They are a super fly and fits my longer torso above the belly button. I did find this a little high in price for a pair of denim shorts. I just got a pair of regular denim last week and I paid almost half of that, the same brand, almost the same style, but I like the fit and the style of this so much and I have been looking for something like this for so long. These are Levi's, so the quality is there, so I don't think they are too expensive for what they are. I think I'm just a little spoiled finding my Levi's on sale most of the time. Nonetheless, I am keeping them. I have already removed the tag and everything, so they are stuck with me. For this casual beach look, I'm wearing an old bodysuit from Free People. I also have it in white and I have been wearing it for years now. But if I plan to go into the water, I will wear my swimsuit instead. A linen button up is a piece I gravitate towards, especially when I'm going for a more classic elevated outfit, since denims are already in the casual side, even more so when they're shorts. Again, I love this one because though it's long sleeve, it's oversized and so it's not clinging to my skin and so it makes it more breathable and practical for the warmer months. This tank is from Reformation and I have been wearing it non-stop this summer because it's so light and fresh and breathable and I find that the lace detail makes it more elevated and otherwise simple top. Kyle and I went browsing around town and I came across these ones and when I first saw them I didn't think I was gonna like them because of the big buckle, they're a little bulky, they have 
kind of a lot going on with all the golden detail and the brand i am not a logo person per se and so i found them too much for my minimal style but then i put them on and they were super comfortable they don't look as bulky on my feet they don't make my feet look extra big which i do have chubby toes and shoes like this tend to make my toes look extra chubby but these don't and i was just so amazed how they fit how comfortable they are and how flattering they make my feet look so the price i couldn't afford it so i went home and i had previously just that week bought a pair of clogs that i wasn't sure about and so as soon as i got home i returned them and i looked for coupons so i can get these sandals and luckily i did find i have a couple of apps that give me discounts if there is any out there and so i'll link those two below in case you're interested but i got them heavily discounted these are the halifax clock sandals from veronica beer which is a new brand to me as well i got them on my normal size and they fit perfectly they are in this beautiful brown which is a color that i wear a lot and again it's a piece that i can transition to the fall at least for the first months of the fall weather because they are clogs they are a thicker heel which is more comfortable at least for me they are gold is my go-to metal color for my accessories so it works out the heel is not too high for me i believe these are 3.5 i usually like to stay within the three inch heel just because i break my foot and so i'm not able to wear higher heels and because of it and though i have not walked long distance in these ones i find that if i had to i wouldn't be uncomfortable these flats are the Warache from Nisolo. If you've been here before, you know I love the brand. I have been eyeing this for a while and finally decided to get them when I went on sale. I also got the same matching pair for Kyle for his birthday. And though they're not his usual type of shoe, he did like them. He's still breaking them in. He says that he wishes they were a little bit bigger, but if he goes half a size up, they'll be too big on him. So they're not a long distance walk type of shoe, at least for him. But I have no problem with them. They were comfortable right out of the box. I do not have to break them in. I have done quite a bit of walk on them and I have no blisters. Though I am in between sizes, so I went for the larger side of the two sizes and I've never felt the need to break them in. So it might depend on your type of feet. I like the design of a warache. It has texture and room for air to flow. Perfect for the warmer months, but I still cover most of my feet, which is something I prefer year round. I went for the color black. I was in need of a pair of black flats in my wardrobe, but there are many other color options you can choose from, both for female and male. And those were some of my new in pieces. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!